Yo, what's good with you, YouTube? Welcome back to any of the longtime viewers of the channel and welcome in to any of the new viewers of the channel. I'm your host, Tootie Gaming, or Tootie for short. Just go ahead and say Tootie. Now, today's video, I want to do my best to cover a lot of the things that have been changed in Apex Legends Season 20 because these changes are game changing. So what you guys can expect in this season are buffs and nerfs to the weapons as usual, but no new weapons, map rotations, but no new maps, and legend changes. Majority of them buffs, some of them you possibly might say a nerf, but I don't really think that was a real nerf in this season, more like balance changes, and I can explain exactly why. So with the arrival of season 20, we actually have a new thing in the game called a skill tree. Now, the way the skill tree works is pretty simple and self-explanatory. So, you start off as level 1, and level 1 is Grey Shield. Yes, guys, you no longer have to go out there and look for Grey Shield. You just have to find a weapon. That's all you have to do, and then do damage to level up the shield the same exact way. In the midst of you actually getting out there doing damage to level up your armor, you're also trying to level up your skills and get other, we would say, maybe passive abilities to go with those skills or buffs is probably a more appropriate term and what i mean by that is let's go with bangalore since i was using her in this video today when you get to level two which is the blue armor you get to choose between two different skills one of them being the ability for her to see throwable items in uh death boxes and you also get to see them through walls and then on the other hand if you decide to go the other direction you get to choose a 60 second reduction to her ultimate charge up time and then once you move up to level three you get another bunch of skill sets that you get to choose from whether that's a passive ability activates and it pings where the enemies are shooting you from or you get to heal in her smoke i know y'all some crazy changes and then once you get up to level four which is the red armor there is no upgrades anymore you just get a new color of armor better armor now every legend in season 20 did get these same type of changes it wasn't just bangalore or a specific group of legends they all received it but even with them receiving these their core abilities are still the same except now you get a little extra once you level up so another thing that they added in this season is the fact that there are no longer crafting materials that you have to go out there and grab the little bin and then you get crafted materials instead when you grab one you get points towards your shield to help you level up anybody on the team can grab this and once somebody does everybody receives the same amount of points so it's a great way to level up so those are just some of the changes that they've made to apex legends in season 20 man and it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to honestly guys i've been playing it for a little bit now and it's starting to become a little bit easier to understand for me i get how the things work i'm understanding the legends a little bit more and honestly it does seem overwhelming but once you play as some of the legends not even all of them just some of them you start to get an understanding and an idea of how things are gonna go so with that being said man i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and if you do you should leave a like on here and if you enjoy my type of content you want to see more apex legends content from your boy you should subscribe to the channel because that is a free thing to do and with all that i'll catch you on the next one Ugh, level up okay hold on hold on so let's see we get the 60 seconds old cooldown or sea ordinance through walls and death boxes i think we're gonna take the alt cooldown okay so it does show you guys too at the bottom it says that it's 1300 damage that you need to do to get to the next evo so that is nice to know you can track it oh. you can only that's so fast oh yo 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 that is fast as hell that's a dub that's a dub update oh no i'm here i'm here i think about what got you i can't see shit Oh yeah, get rid of that. Ooh. Nice. Oh, come back, come back. Uh, we want the regen. Huh. Bring 
Look at the regen I get, y'all. That's crazy. Oh. Whoa. As a matter of fact, oh. Uh. Gotta go. Ah! Look, look, look. Motherfucker. Oh shit, that damn Watson old. Bitch! No, I'm stuck. No. Oh my God, that was such a bad spot to be in. You gotta be shitting me. Oh God. Oh, she down one. Let's go! Starting to feel it, niggas. Uh, we'll do the sea ordinance through walls, uh, I guess. We'll see if this one is any good. You know, only one way to really find out, y'all, is to use the shit. Oh, yep. You gotta be kind of close, though. That's... Mm, that, that perk ain't it. That perk is not it. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it a stack, niggas. That ain't it. I think. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my god! Not! Can I get that throwable? You okay if I take that throwable? Y'all came to see that tiger? Y'all here for the tiger? Y'all here, here for that tiger, huh? <laughs> Oh my god. No! Yup. Down to target. Got that promotion, but the upgrade will be clutch. Got an upgrade. Moving up. <laughs> Which one did I just get? I don't even know. Oh, uh, ping enemies that activate my passive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really feel like I should have got the other one though. The the one where I get health off of my sh fucking smokes. It is, but I hate it. Yee yee. Yee yee. Nice. Okay. Two of them are very low. I can't see shit. Oh my god. Last scene. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First dub of season 20. Yes, sir, Slick. Your boy absolutely dominated. The most kills on the team, the most damage on the team. Come on. I told y'all, once it just start clicking, nigga, this shit just gonna start rolling. For Schmangalore, I do not recommend ever, ever, ever using Big Bang because just seeing throwables through death boxes and walls is not something that's all that great and they didn't even say but you got to be decently close to be able to see anything so it's it's not even worth getting the negative 60 seconds on the old cooldown is the obvious clear-cut winner then for the level three upgrade i'm thinking i still like the regen health inside the smoke over the ping enemies who trigger the passive but it might be a, a a map or a scenario where you really do need to auto ping the enemies who are shooting at you that way it'll give your teammates a call out and they can easily get some shots off or get a knock either way i think when it comes to level three one of those would be good but level two definitely go with the ultimate cooldown